All right, this is how to fix the majority of uh, orange amps that have issues with bad connections. It happens a lot. These boards need to be resoldered around the tubes. And unfortunately, they use a uh, pretty shitty, cheap, lead-free solder that just sucks. So what we're going to do, if you try to reflow the factory solder, what happens is it instantly oxidizes. You get it nice and hot and reflow this. Should you know just get cracked and lose connection pretty easy. And as you watch it cool off. God damn, this phone does not like. To zoom in. So we'll just reflow that guy right there. Alright, now as it cools off, it'll instantly oxidize and turn white. Well, what happens is that little cover of white is oxidation. It'll also, that oxidation will get between the pin and the solder super easy. So it's a pain in the ass. What you're going to have to do is remove all the solder on every pin. Go ahead and hold this guy here. We'll take a solder sucker and an iron. Get it hot and we'll suck all the solder out of there. Alright, now it's all cleaned out of the original solder all the way around the pin, the best I can get. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to get it to where there's just no solder left in the hole anymore. I do not know why this thing does not want to focus worth a the crap. There, we're getting better. All right, so now we got that out of there. I've already done all the rest of the pins on here. I'm kind of going backwards and now doing the heaters. I like to go and do all the other pins, leave the heaters for last, and then, uh, you know, I don't know why. It's just what I do. So, anyway. Lower extra solder off there. Alright, now that we've got that cleaned out. We'll go back in. Get this set up to where you can actually see it. I'm sorry, I know this is a... It's no fun watching a video that... It's all jumpy and... Not very well prepared, but I'm sorry, I just decided to do this. I'll just hold it. All right, what we want to do first, when we're filling a good size hole like this, is we'll do it in stages. Usually I'm doing all the pins at once. Just go ahead and load up the end of your tip with some solder. Get it down in there. Get it nice and hot so it follows the pin down. Then we'll let that cool. Now it's cooling off and staying nice and shiny. And we'll go through. Once it's cooled off, we'll add another drop on the top and just heat the very tip of the pin so the solder doesn't keep getting sucked down into the hole further. We want it to bulk up and come all the way to the tip of the pin just like that. All right, now that we've got that, the last part of it is put a nice drop of flux right on the top. Then, heat it. You, know, you want to put the soldering iron down into the bead and then pull it right to the top of the pin and then let it cool. The reason for that is that little bit of flux and that last bit of heat pulling up to the pin will make sure that there's no oxidation or any ash from the tip and stuff like that that gets between the solder and the pin that can later loosen it up. And that's it. That's how you do it. You go through and hit every single pin on those power tubes. Hit every pin on the preamp tubes. And you shouldn't have any problem for a long time. Have a good night.